What's up guys, Dirty Traveler here, and today's video is all about how much it costs to stay in Australia. Now there's a big stigma going around that it's so expensive here, backpackers can't travel it, so we're going to go explore that for ourselves. Currently I'm in the region of Whitsundays, which is a huge tourist destination, so let's go to our local grocery store and check out how much it costs. Now if you're new to this channel guys, consider subscribing for informational videos on how to travel for cheap i don't have a lot of money so i'll show you how to do it too and it has a bunch of cool adventures so just hit that subscribe button and without further ado let's get some sunglasses on and head to the grocery store there we go after this video i'll show a comparison chart for how the food varies at the grocery stores for everybody going to different regions in australia uh, this is woolworths guys it's a local grocery store in australia you'll see them all around no matter what city you're in they are the giant eagle of this country. All right, walking right in here first, you're gonna see these are mangoes for 250. Grapes are 350 per kilogram. Remember, guys, it's all metric, so it's not per pound or anything. 290, and these are all Australian dollars. And 390 a kilogram for tomatoes. I will post. All conversions for you guys. Watermelon is $1.90 per kilogram. It's gonna be five bucks. If you want a full roasted chicken, they have these at home. Uh, the price is $10 and they're actually stuffed here and those are free range. Bananas. So bananas, the organic bananas are $5.50. Hippies, <laughs> we had red dip bananas. I don't know, these always make me laugh when I see them. Um, I don't really know what it means. Four dollars and thirty cents a kilogram. The pineapples are three dollars and ninety cents a unit. Cantaloupe two fifty. Kiwis four dollars and ninety cents a bunch. Four dollars and ninety cents per kilogram. You'll see it's more expensive in America, but it's nineteen fifty an hour for part time and twenty five dollars for full time minimum wage. Three dollars and ninety cents. Tomatoes, cucumbers, dollar ninety each. Avocado, expensive around the world. Five pack or 750. I think that's it. I don't know who's buying these pumpkins, but they're 450 a kilogram if you want it. Onions, five dollars for a pack. Not a bad price. I don't know what the onion market is going on in the states right now. It's really cool making videos in public places. I don't know like that you weird. All right, heads of lettuce, dollar 75 each. I don't know who's buying these. Celery. I'm gonna to try to get stuff that you guys are familiar with the prices. Carrots. Two dollars twenty cents a kilogram. Three mushroom lovers. Four dollars each for this entire pack. See two dollars for this bag of bread leaves. Cheese lovers. Let's go. All right. Let's see. How much are these? Seven ninety each. It looks like two thirty-five grams. Vintage cheeses is twelve months. Five dollars and fifty cents. So Danish salami, all these meats, little packs, they're not too big. They're $6 each on sale, but it's one of those things that they're always on sale. Hot dogs, $6, about $8 for any of these. All right, moving on to the chickens and the meats. Over here, we got diced chicken. It's $10.18, $14 a kilogram. Not bad, they diced it up for you nice. You get a whole chicken for $8.25. Smaller than America because they don't use the growth hormones hardcore like we do. Oh yeah, $10.50 for a kilogram. About two pounds. So what's the conversion going right now? Is it 1.8 kilograms per pound? Um, pork, no one here cares about pork, I don't think. Next thing we're gonna go over is bread aisle. I go over straight to this aisle, $1.60 Australian for an entire loaf of bread. Can't really beat that. You can go to the multi-grains for more, like $3. Of course, just like America, I get the higher ones. But that's cheaper price than I get at Giant Eagle and Walmarts. Uh, so you get tortillas, $3.50. We're gonna go up and down every aisle, guys. This entire yogurt, $4 for that container. I'm trying to find Greek for all you flunkheads out there. This is good. So $7 for this container, it's not that big. Oh yeah, right here, it's actually $11. That is a paint jack, yes to me. I'm trying to think, milk? All right, so, so $4.95 <laughs> um, of oh, three liters. 
So three liters, 4.95, eggs. Everybody in the world eats eggs. I buy the caged one. That's my big confession of the day. Three hours and 50 cents for extra large eggs, 12 of them, guys. I think at home it was like 98 cents. America is like the cheapest eggs in the world, I swear to God. <laughs> you want the caged free ones, 760 bucks. For that's a 18 pack. So kind of do your math for that. If you are huge into the humanitarian ethics way, Want, okay, we have ice cream. Everyone who just got broken up with, you're gonna wanna come here for your gallons, cartons. Actually, they don't use gallons because it's America. It's only America. Okay, 45 cents for two liters. Or <laughs> four dollars and 25 cents for two liters. That'll get you through a good cry all night. The one thing here in Australia that is insane is that the coffee is so expensive. For about half the size at a store, or you have size of McDonald's coffee, a large McDonald's, it's about $5 here. Australian, it's about $4 American, but there's no free refills or anything like that. America, you get refills out the booty hole. And so you're gonna be, be coffee drinkers out there. You're gonna be a huge surprise when you come to Australia. None of the coffee is cheap, no matter what. Um, huge money saver, pasta. Pasta here is pretty much the same price anywhere else in the world pennies you know, from your couch cushion can get to it and it's a giant jar of sauce all right energy drink lovers a can of monster 355 actually cheaper than a home about the same price when you convert it candies two dollars big old bag 350 and it's about a medium sized bag of doritos you won't say i don't really see america size oh here we are i shouldn't say party size just say america size Seven dollars for one. But this one, nacho cheese, is only three fifty. <laughs> this cheese costs a lot, so three fifty for a big bag of chips. All right, twenty-four pack of um, Coca-Cola cans, thirty-one fifty. It's a lot. Let's go to the let's go to the two liters. Show sure what size those cans are. <laughs> All right, here we go. Two liter bottle of pep, $2.85. It seems as if the unhealthy foods in Australia, <laughs> they're, they're kind of transfer over well to America as the cheap ones. But actually the healthy food here, I find is a little bit cheaper than it is in America. Because I remember just nothing being cheap. If you want to make a salad or a fruit salad in America, it costs you, a whole paycheck, but you can get McDonald's and food all the time for absolutely nothing. All right, last thing is what we all love to get, box of cereal, Special K, it's on sale for $2.45, it's 47, and, but it's usually $5 for a box of cereal. And that's it guys, I just walked up every aisle here. Let me know if I miss something that you're craving and I'll go check it and post it down below. I think these videos are cool because I remember when I wanted to go to Australia, you see all these posts online, just graphs, and you don't really know. So I kind of wanted to walk you through an actual grocery store here locally. And I'm thinking about doing different episodes, like a McDonald's, oh, the McDonald's menu will blow your mind. It is insane, the price difference in America. So let me know down stairs what you guys want to see next in the terms of cost I can do activities, I could do fast food joints, I could do hostels, or I'll just go and show you the prices of different hostels. I think bars would be a cool one. So which one do you want to see next for prices? And for you actually coming to this country, I think it'd be really helpful. Besides that guys, please subscribe to me. It helps me out a ton. I'm gonna go catch some sun and I'll be back before you know it. Peace.